Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to try to continue the shortest of the Savoia Marchetti S55X challenges. This one is in three legs. I had previously done the first leg, but it was a little bit iffy whether it properly saved my progress because when I click here for the second leg, it doesn't say continue with that. But in the previous video, when I clicked start from, it actually picked up from Toronto where I left off with the hope that maybe this will work out. I don't know. Let me click start from and hope we're flying from Toronto. Now, even if we uh, do fly from Toronto, that doesn't mean that we're going to be able to complete this at Istanbul properly. Uh, that depends on other things. We'll see. Since the previous flight, I have, of course, shut down the sim. I've even updated the sim. So things may have changed. Bush trips are long VFR flights. That's not what bush trips are. I do object to Flight Sim's rewriting of the definition of bush trip. Okay, well, initially it looked like I have the head tracking as well. Initially, it looked like it was gonna start us at Orbitello, but this is Toronto. And in fact, on my GPS, it still has progress because LLBB is Toronto. That's where we left off. So if we take a look outside, that's that little sort of dock area there. It doesn't have the nav log anymore though. So it's a little bit weird. Maybe I should do back on track, but then again, the GPS still has the, the stuff. I don't know what to make of this. Because um, the GPS has the continuation of the flight, but the nav log doesn't. It makes me think that I should stop the flight somehow and that it'll figure it out. Um, but I don't know how that happens. It does make me think that there's a way to complete the flight. I shut off the plane as you can see. The plane is all shut down. I'll have to restart the whole thing too. But at least we do have a checklist here. And maybe get it to recognize that the flight is over so that we can continue. Because the navlog not showing information is very suspicious. Flight assistant, let me just see. I've never clicked this flight assistant thing before, actually. Interesting. We also have the fuel that we had left over. Cow flap. Um open mixture is full rich well let me just get all the magnetos ready okay starter oh it's pulling that thing okay okay that seems started to me And down here. Alright, seems like we've got- oh god, we're moving. I don't even know how we started facing this direction. We're gonna beach it, no! Oh, wow, I was- I was just joking! I was just joking, don't beach! It beached. They're totally beached. Guys, we beached it. I'm trying to dislodge it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no. It's still stuck. Now it's permanently stuck. I can't move it either way. Oh, come on. Are we like inching forward? I think we're inching forward. I think it'll eventually get off of it. Oh, well, this will be the oddest start to a flight I've had in a long time. That back on track button is looming. I feel like we're making progress here. Uh oh, no, 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 don't do that. No, it's turning on its own. I'm trying to counteract it. No, it, it turned towards the... See, that's cheating, game. 
I did not want to go that direction. I was not pointing in that direction. That was all you game. Too bad there's no reverse that I know of. Okay, well, I think the best option is to try this back on track thing. Let's try to back on. That didn't help. <laughs> I clicked the back on track thing and it didn't help at all. Um, but it does have that whole route laid out. Whoops. Wondering if the nav log. Nope, the nav log still doesn't have anything. Um. Tell you what, let me try and back out of it and uh, not restart and come back in and see where the plane is. It can't possibly decide to put us on land, can it? Oh, yeah, we're still beached. <laughs> well, there's, there's sort of an emergency thing, I think. This uh, VFR map. has a teleport option and I am going to use this teleport option that is in full disclosure I don't know what it's gonna do to the challenge I have teleported okay <laughs> this was only because I had no choice and the game was being poopy I'm trying to turn carefully here Okay, well, I don't know what that has done to anything. The GPS still likes me. <laughs> it still says LLBB to LECCE. -E. So, shoot, we'll try it, but I don't know what to say. Uh, the, the line is saying that I never made the first part of the trip. Let me see back on track what it says. Well, now it's it's sort of going like this, so maybe it knows or maybe it doesn't know. It's tough to say, but we're going. On to Athens. And we are out of the water. Completing a bush trip without using the get me back on track feature will award an achievement for that particular activity. Well, I think we've already shot ourselves in the foot on that, but the fact that it's saying that might mean that it recognizes that we've continued? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. We'll try our best. I have video evidence, darn it. I don't need your stupid achievement. <laughs> okay, now, now it show, we'll show your current position for a short, short amount of time as well as a line from there to the next waypoint. Oh, okay. Well, where's my own icon anyway? Shouldn't it show me me on the VFR map? Or is that passe? Maybe it gave up once I used this VFR map and decided to relocate myself. It got confused. Is the GPS still happy? I mean, I don't need it to navigate, but you know. Actually, now I don't have the nav log information. I don't have the Dead Reckoning version of things. It's a little bit harder, but... Um, it, it seems like we've got the GPS working out for us. I'll just follow the GPS, even though it's new and everything. Okay, so a departing view of Toronto. Again, they didn't really photogrammetry this city, so... Well, for this leg of the journey, there seems to be a road we can follow right here, uh, to our left. Don't know what road that is, but I guess we can use our map to see, perhaps, since that's an open street map map. It's, uh... Well, it's not telling me, but we do seem to know that this town right here is called Manduria. But whatever this road is, from Toronto to Lesse, I, I don't know, Lecce? Lesse? That is the route we are going on right now. 
This is our current destination. South of Brindisi. I've heard of Brindisi before. I would like to see what Brindisi looks like around here. But anyway. That is how it's going. So we can do some VFR navigation in principle. Well, I can see the opposite coast already. So we are not long for Italy at this point. Okay, it wasn't the splotch that I thought. It's the one in front of us right now. That's Lecce. Hopefully that's pronouncing it properly. I have no idea. So that one in front of us is the waypoint, and then we'll proceed from there. Not that the game guarantees any knowledge of these events. Okay. Let ya. Decent sized city here. On the GPS, it gives the next waypoint and everything, and the estimated time on routes and the distance, but it's gotten rid of the line. <laughs> the line the line that we're supposed to be following is not there. Uh, checking the VFR map. The line is here, it's just that my icon isn't. My, the, my little plane. So, I mean, but apparently it's centered on me. I just can't see the little plane icon. So, things continue to be weird. Okay, last little bit of Italy here, as we are about to strike out, strike out over the Adriatic. And we can see some mountains over there in Albania, I think. And among those might be Mount Sika or Shika. C-I-K-A, but there's an accent mark on the C, so I'm not sure exactly how that goes. But uh, we're aiming a little bit south of that, probably cutting the southern end of Albania on our way into Greece. So, backwards look at Italy. This little bay here, or are they lakes or uh, looks like a bay. That looks distinct enough to find on the map. It looks like it's just uh, north of a town called Otranto, and south of one called Frasanito. There are two lakes or two things here. One is called. Alamini Grande and the smaller one to the south is Alamini Piccolo. Well, we are part way across the sea and I spot an island in front of us. And bound to be a lot of those. I can't read the Greek. Uh, I mean, I can read some Greek letters, but. Uh, I probably shouldn't try that. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's an island there, but then there's uh, Corfu there. Looks like we won't be clipping Albania after all. But that's because I wandered a little bit further south than expected. Okay, we are now approaching the island of Corfu, and the population of it is 102,000 in 2011, though, so I don't know it currently, but. It's a pretty big island. You can see it stretch over there. There's supposed to be some temples and some castles on it. Uh, I don't think we have them in the sim, so... At least it's looking halfway decent. I think the, the point of interest to marker that we're headed for must be on Corfu, uh, 10 nautical miles away right now. It seems like it's probably the city of Corfu. Well, the city of Corfu has a very decent runway right there. Not that we can use it, but it's got one. 
And we are turning to our new heading. Breeze looking quite rugged right now. Really, the airport is much larger than the actual city. <laughs> I guess it's spread out a bit though. So I hadn't done any of the bush trips before and I just searched for bush trips not completing and it seems other people have had problems too. Uh, normally apparently we're supposed to get finished legs successfully after landing. Um, so it doesn't look good <laughs> but I'll do it and I'll do it and just uh, rely on the logbook. Hopefully the logbook is capturing it all and I mean the result and then posting it to YouTube and everything as evidence of my success. But it would be nice if it completed properly, I don't know. But I'll admit it's not looking great. It may in fact be that it doesn't like the fact that I have other mods installed as well. That is a complicating factor here. And of course I have the very suspicious extra VFR map as well, so I might not like that. Well, unfortunately there isn't a whole lot to see on this coastline as we fall on down. Very green. But not much going on here as far as I can tell. Of course, they haven't done a world update including Greece yet. Uh, probably high time for that. Greece and probably Istanbul itself could do with some work. And maybe other countries if they're feeling kind about it. Okay, well, I just realized something horrible. I don't actually know where it wants me to land in particular, because last time I relied on the photo in the nav log, right? But we don't have a photo in the nav log this time. And I'm guessing we're going to need to land near Piraeus, which is the port uh, at Athens. But I'm not sure sure about that. And, well, we'll just have to look at the GPS and hope we will have a waypoint and we'll have a airport marker, presumably. But it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Not that last time worked out for us either, so... <laughs> yeah, looks like the point of interest marker 3, uh, wait, next waypoint is Preveza, and that body of water right there is Embrakian Gulf. That's what it's called, Embrakian Gulf. And where we're trying to land at is LLAT. I guess I can try and find that on the map as well. On the Google map, I mean. Uh, Glyphada Beach, it looks like, maybe. Well, I can't even find this LLAT. I don't even know if it's a real airport. Um, yep, not sure about that one. So, this city to our left is Preveza, and there's the Embrakian Gulf over there. We'll be cutting across land now. Well, we've got a little road to follow here, so I'm gonna follow it and see how far we get like that. Landscape is a bit more interesting right now. Well, we got some nice mountains over there, but you're down here in the, in the valley, if you will. Looks like this road is deviating quite a lot from our intended course though. We basically just have to cut across all these ridges I think. Yep, just cutting across all the ridges. We can't just 
follow the road, it'll probably go down to the coast and then fall along the Gulf of Corinth, which is not a bad way to go. But I guess it'll take longer. Well, I guess going across the ridges does have some perks. It's a nice view and we get uh, relatively close to the terrain and see things. It's looking nice. Well, there seems to be something that ought to be a dam over here. Not a fairly substantial dam by the look of it though, considering the water down it uh, immediately seems to widen out. Uh, well, the water around here doesn't seem quite right, does it? I recall there was a uh, grease water fix available. I might have to pick that up, especially for this area, just to give you a notion of where we're at. Um, it's this river here. I'll try and find the name. Evinos? Uh, Evinos River, I think. E-V-I-N-O-S. And we're headed right for that mountain. It looks like from the GPS we can deviate a little bit to the north here to avoid that. I don't want to climb over it. We're already high enough as it is. It takes a while for this thing to descend anyway, so... Back on course we go. I feel like this flight has definitely taken longer than expected though. We'll probably be landing and we'll have taken about three hours. But flying in a straight line with this thing is hardly interesting. And without any autopilot it's all hands on so a little bit of weaving is to be expected. Okay, well, we've deviated a little bit south, but that was in order to hit the Gulf of Corinth a little bit faster, and that should be what the body of water in front of us is. The long channel that we see here leading up to Corinth itself. Alright, we are now approaching the Isthmus of Corinth, and uh, there's this bit sort of jutting out here. Uh, you can see the isthmus in front of us and the part that we're going to cut across. But we aren't actually going to fly over Corinth itself, the city. That's at the southern end of the isthmus. We're cutting across the northern end, which is closer to Athens. The terrain here looks non-generic, but also not exactly stunning at this point. Uh, a little bit dry there. Okay, so we are now crossing over to Megara. And then we'll basically be right by Athens. We'll fly around Athens and then we'll try and land. So far the flight has taken 2 hours and 47 minutes, but that is including all the messing about we did at the port of Toronto. That took a little bit of time, but uh, yeah, it has not been a short flight, but it's been a shorter flight than some of the other ones that came with uh, this plane. Okay, passing by Megara. And the island to our right there is Salamina. It's sort of longish and complicated as far as islands go. The water between uh, Megara and Salamina is the Gulf of Elefsina. Seems like there's a ridge in front of us and on this side of the ridge is Eleusis and Aerodromio. Aerodromeo, I assume, indicates the airport there. Uh, and then past the ridge is Athens itself. 
Okay, well, through that gap is Athens. Pretty distinctly located. It's like, not Athens on this side. Nope, definitely Athens on that side. I forget if Athens has photogrammetry. Let me check. But, I mean, of course, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, no such luck. Oh, well, of course, uh... I mean, of course, it could have had photogrammetry before they did, the, like, a Greece world update, but nope. Uh, no, there's, uh, there's the Acropolis, and that's it, as far as I can tell, in terms of scenery. The rest of it's all generic. Nice highway here, though. E94, apparently. Uh, the highway seems to have some random buildings on top of it right here. Looks like it goes underneath these. Interesting. Those that uh, that looks it looks like there's some ruins there, but I'm not sure. Those might be like an historical thing that they had to tunnel under. Uh, but here too, there's maybe that's just some sort of thing that happens because uh, here we also have the road going underneath the thing. And I, I don't know, uh, there, there is a sort of park plaza with a monument thing, maybe. And uh, that looks like the Olympic complex over there to the right. Sort of have to expect an Olympic complex in Athens, right? So Acropolis, whereabouts might the I mean, it must be on top of a hill. Uh, but which of these hills is the Acropolis? Do something with this. This looks like it could do with some nice scenery. It is probably some freeware though. I should look for freeware for Athens. I mean, hopefully I don't miss it. They said they had the Acropolis, I hope. That's around here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's over there, that one. Yeah, I think that's probably it over there. Obviously, it'll be the last hill. <laughs> okay. We have properly visited the Acropolis. Looking good. Looking good indeed. An amphitheater there. Makes me want to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and everything. Don't know why they have us parking down the coast from here. This this uh this area looks nice right here, but anyway. But again, I don't know exactly where they were intending. Just gonna try and focus on not beaching myself. It's not in that little ring, is it? <laughs> gotta assume we get to be on the side of it. Going in there is definitely too dangerous given our recent past. That's a weird thing happening in the water there. I don't know what's up right there. Well, we have splashed down. And it's already turned to the next node. Or, I say node. The water seems to be rising, isn't it? I don't like this. <laughs> I'm turning. Um, the next uh, waypoint. Let me zoom in really close and see where LLAT is. Okay, so as long as we hit that marker, really, really shouldn't complain. 
Yeah. Okay, well, that looks right on the money to me. Still one knot, but anyway, you can't get any better than this. Uh, turning off the pumps. Turning off the panel lights and the nav. Well, that's on. Um, APU starter off, battery off. We are basically off. So, we are floating here at Athens. Nothing's happening. Let me let me go to the main menu and see if we can jump back in or not from this point. I do need a break. This custom content. Do you suppose they actually ever flew these? Well, obviously as in highlighted the next thing. This was the longest one actually. I guess we weren't doing too bad on time. But okay, let's say I start from here. I bet you this is not going to work out though. We'll get to Istanbul and it won't work out. I'm pretty sure about that right now. Um, let's see, ready to fly. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have anything there. Let me turn on the battery again. Yeah, we're at LLAT. So we can continue to flight, but it probably isn't going to ultimately count this or anything. But who knows what it was going to do with the challenge anyway. So I will continue on to Istanbul at a later time, but I'll need some rest first. So yeah, we will proceed with this flight, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to count it as a challenge properly or anything. But here we are at Athens. And for now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.